Well, this is a bit of a tricky one to start off with. You're joining me with just injury time to play. It's 3-2. We're not going to win this game, right? <laughs> um, wow, this, this is going to be a very different video to what it would have been if I started about five minutes ago. I would have said, right then, it's over, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's three all. No, this isn't happening. This isn't hap This can't happen. How many minutes added on is there going to be? Because I, I was ready to start saying things like football lost today. Let's be real. Arsenal have done this in a very traditional, fair way. Yes, we've spent quite a bit of money on players, but we've invested in players intelligently. We've brought players through the academy. We've done things by the book and we're going to be losing out to a rich... Oh, it's eight minutes added on. Uh, a powerhouse that is Man City with an alien up front. And it they're just this immovable objects over the last decade it feels like but as of right now at the emirates it is three all and we could genuinely steal a win here i swear if we win this there's no, there's no way absolutely no way um i what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna full screen this okay let's see what happens shall we because th this was gonna be a very different video i actually hit record just moments before we made it 3-2. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll redo it from there because it, it changed very, very quickly what I was talking about. And also I knew that I'd be very distracted. And here I am, it's three all, feeling very distracted because we are playing against, you could argue, the worst side in the Premier League this season. We've got seven minutes with so many attacking players on the pitch that we could genuinely win this game. And it will be one of the greatest comebacks in Arsenal history. And then imagine if we went to the Etihad and... Oh, no. No, 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 no. I refuse to even think, think ahead that far. Let's just get this job done. I swear, if it actually happens. I mean, Southampton have about 600... Oh, we just hit the bar. We just hit the bar. Southampton have about 606 players in the box right now. Um, Trossard just hit the bar. <laughs> oh, my God. This this can't happen, guys. This can't. It's not allowed. You cannot be 3-1 down and suddenly with minimal time left in the game be fighting to win it. We should be down and out, heads down, just all over the place. Even getting a draw at this point is pretty insane. <laughs> Uh, of course, Southampton are going to be wasting as much time as possible. We do have a player down right now. Uh, so there is a break in play. But the difference this makes, an extra point, does mean that if City win their next two games, um, including, obviously, against us, they will be one point clear. Um, yeah. <sighs> Stress levels are very, very high. It's just incredible, isn't it? Let, let's talk about a couple of things whilst we're waiting for the break in play to end here. There is still one thing that I should definitely mention, and that is Vieira. When we signed Vieira, I was adamant this guy was basically an Erdegaard backup. Um, he likes to play in those pockets, you know, just ahead of central midfielders, in behind the strikers, picking out passes. Today, for our setup, he was playing in that Xhaka role, and I really really don't think it's quite right for him. It feels like Vieira is being used in the wrong position and um, that's a real shame because he's got a lot of potential, I think, to be a great player for us. Ooh, box, uh, ball in the box there. We've had to defend that. So, um, yeah, I was, I was very disappointed with Vieira and the problem as well, you, I could see it when he walked off. He's so skinny. And look, I'm not, I'm not saying you can't be skinny and good in football. A lot of very slim players are very good. But if you're going to play in a role like Xhaka does, I think you do need to be quite a physically strong and almost, what's the word I'm looking for? You, you want to make the, the, the other players fear you by having strong players. You want them to, I can't think of the word... There's a word literally perfect for this, but I don't I don't think Vieira gives us that edge. He's too weak. 
so I, I don't really want to see Vieira in that position. I thought maybe because we're playing at home, we'll dominate the ball. It'll be okay. But no, it, it wasn't working. Oh, my God. Pen. Pen. We just hit the post. Nelson just hit the post. I feel sick. Genuinely feel sick right now. Honestly, oh, I didn't hit the post. It just went wide. That could have been a penalty, you know. Genuinely, I feel like that could have been a penalty, but we've got a corner. There is officially three minutes left. This feels like Bournemouth version two. It really does. Um, oh, God. I hate this so much, but I love it. Isn't football incredible? You're about to witness me go absolutely ballistic if we win this. I will try and keep it as calm as possible. My poor neighbours. <sighs> Come on. Come on. No, okay, that one's going to get cleared away. It's okay, we've got, we've got a bit of time. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. No foul. Right, sorry if this isn't the most entertaining video, guys, but honestly, right now, I'm struggling for words because this is just... This is insane. Two minutes, 10 seconds. Come on. This is a season-defining moment. If we score here... <sighs> launched into the box, cleared away. Nelson's won it back. He's been taken out. Come on, ref. Maybe not a foul. Oh, my God. Who would have thought this would happen today? I thought we'd win this very comfortably. I really did, but... You're seeing a squad of young players getting a bit exposed and, and as usual, at home, conceding silly goals. I think we've got the second worst record at home in terms of keeping clean sheets, and that's simply not good enough. I think we've only kept three clean sheets at home this season. And funnily enough, only Southampton have um, had a worse record. They've only had one clean sheet at home this season. But uh, it, it's not looking great right now. We've got players going down with cramp, of course. There is more time showing on the page here. There's actually only one minute 10 left. Oh, I don't know if it's going to happen. A point is still really good for Southampton. And I think I should say that I, I quite like Southampton. So part of me was thinking, do you know what? If, if it's over for us, some of me, a little part of me was thinking, do you know what? If they if they can get safe from this result and kind of bounce back a little bit, I, I wouldn't mind that because I quite like Southampton. But um, obviously I would rather we get the win here and they go down. Obviously, I know that sounds awful, but that's the possibility here. They they will absolutely, they'll be crushed if they don't go on to win this. A draw is still bad considering they were leading the game. But we are going into the final 30 seconds. I think the ref might add on an extra 10 or 20 seconds because um, players have gone down. Here we go. Nelson on the ball down the left wing. Gabriel on the overlap. He's on sides. <laughs> We've got Gabriel left wing. And I, I don't mean Martinelli or Jesus. Thomas Partey just had a shot from 40, up, 40 yards out. Why? Oh my God, Partey. That's a droppable offence. How could you do that? How can you shoot from there in a situation like this? I think that's it. So a different kind of draw today. Instead of being 2-0 up and drawing, we decided to be 2-0 down and draw. So you could argue slight improvement there. <laughs> Um, but it's it's simply not good enough. This is a case of us not deserving to win the league anymore because you, you can't drop points against Southampton at home. No disrespect, but that's just not good enough. Southampton at home, this this is one of those games you just, you just win. You just win it. But I've got to say, the referee has not blown his whistle here and there might be time for one more crack at it. It's gone over here to Ben White. Gives it to the captain, Erdegaard. Partey, don't you dare shoot. Oh, my Lord, we're still playing here. Trossard gets it into the box. 
Pen. That's a penalty. That looked like a penalty to me. How are we still playing? They're checking VAR. He better not blow the whistle for full time because then they won't go back, will they? VAR? Oh, guys. Oh, just... I think it's over. I do. I think I think that's it, guys. I'm exhausted. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, okay. Try and recover a bit of composure here because, I mean, that was just absolutely mental. I want to see the stats. <sighs> I'd like to see the replay of that last moment in the box because I genuinely feel like we had a chance there to get a penalty, but... Oh, Ramsdale's first, yeah, the first goal, Ramsdale's pass. Oh, God, we really, really, really did not help ourselves. I've got to be honest, looking at the players on the uh, the pitch after full time here, I think they're feeling the same as me and that it's it's just probably over now. That's probably it. And it's it's really tough because... I mentioned it earlier and maybe people are going to disagree with me and that's fine. But I, I felt like a lot of non-Arsenal fans um, would probably agree with me here. And that is seeing Arsenal win the title over this machine that is Man City, who have dominated English football for so long now, that a lot of fans would like to see that because it, it, it's it's football winning. You know, because Arsenal play a very attractive brand of football, though we haven't seen it much today. You know, that, that we play the way the sport is seen to be beautifully. You know, that we we, we pass the ball. We're, we're very possession-based, fun, flair, flicks, beautiful goals. That's how football is meant to be, right? It's meant to be beautiful. But realistically speaking, so many clubs do well by playing defensively, whatever the case may be. Mourinho is a great example. But what I'm trying to say is... is I thought a lot of fans would be happy that finally a club that isn't one of your typical dirty oil money clubs going on to, to be really successful. But I, I just think it's a year too early and I don't know if we're going to get this chance again. Who knows what's going to happen next season? But I feel like this might have been it for us. And I really hope that's not true because we've got such a young squad. We've got so much potential here and maybe this experience is what what it's going to take you know to push us to the very next level but Liverpool could come back with a vengeance with a big summer you know if they spend well Manchester United Chelsea of course with the amount of players they've invested in unreal you know they could be very good next season with the right manager there's a lot of ifs and buts but it just feels like that it's too early for this squad and I think I've been feeling that almost this entire way, this entire journey, because I haven't openly said that I think Arsenal are going to win the title. And that's the reason, because I genuinely haven't believed we would. I, I, I just knew that this day would come. I didn't expect it against Southampton, Southampton at home, but um, I mean, we've fallen short today and we've only got ourselves to blame. This this is not a case of, oh, we've gone to the Etihad and, and lost 6-0 and, and we've we've dropped the title from there. This has been the last three results where we've we've dropped. Oh my god, we've dropped so many points. It's our own. It's our fault. It's our fault. A hundred percent. You know we should be. If 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 Liverpool, you know, okay, we'll take a draw there. But realistically speaking, two 0 up, we should have won. But that game against Liverpool is always tough. Let's say we draw that, but then we should absolutely be beating West Ham and Southampton. So let's say we come away with seven points, okay, from those nine. That's still, I think, quite workable. It's quite manageable. But to come away with three points out of a possible nine, it just it just feels like that is, outside of everything, not good enough within ourselves. You know, that that's our fault. We don't deserve, deserve to win the title because of literally that. And it honestly stems from Saliba being injured. I'm, I'm fairly confident in saying that. I think the injury that Saliba had 
might genuinely have cost us the title. But uh, looking at the table here, we are still five points clear. City have two games in hand. And let's say that City are going to drop points at some point. You, you never know. If we win every game from now, it is still possible. It's not over till it's mathematically over. So uh, I know this video has been very rambly and very unstructured, unstructured. But the thing is, guys, I'm sitting here as an Arsenal fan going through the emotions live. And it's it's a lot. Um, it's a painful, painful time right now because we're so close. And it just feels like it's slipping away. And that, that is the case. It is. It's slipping away. We do not have that buffer anymore. If, if, if City go on to win their games, that's it. The buffer's gone. So <sighs> really tough one. But thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed my thoughts. Um, I'll give you a prediction. I think we're going to lose at the Etihad. And I'll be making this video then saying it's, it's over for real. But I hope, I hope I'm wrong.